Okay, this is going to be a slightly different video, first for me in fact. Uh, I was rummaging around looking for stuff in my uh, stock of bits, and I came across this um, the other day, and it's a 12 volt solenoid, fairly meaty one, and I bought two of them for a, a solenoid uh, motor project that I did ages and ages ago, and I forgot I had this one, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's about time to build another one. So, uh, I blame Tubal Kane for this, if you uh, haven't uh, seen any of his videos, I thoroughly recommend that you go over to his channel, Mr. Pete 222 um, Excellent, they're just absolutely excellent. He's made loads of uh, 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 electromagnet solenoid motors. So I thought, ah, maybe it's time to make another one. So uh, I'm going to do this in stages. Um, I'm not really set up to show you filming the actual work, but um, as it goes together I think I can show you, you know, what I'm going to do. Uh, so this is the bit of scrap uh, wood which we're going to make the base out of and then we're going to have a couple of uprights here it's all going to be mainly wood and a uh, old uh, mammoth flywheel I think I've got two of those so it may well have uh, have two flywheels and a uh, Meccano crankshaft uh, so that's what we've got at the moment but hopefully we'll actually have a, uh, a working uh, solenoid motor when it's finished Anyway, um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Well, some significant amount of time later and not much has changed. Um, I machined up some uh, bearing bushes to go in the wood uh, blocks for the crankshaft and also made up a very crude connecting rod to connect the solenoid operating arm to the crankshaft. So. We'll just uh, assemble that and uh, you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the uh, how far we've got with it so far. Um, I've actually used the uh, my other older um, Mammoth flywheel because this one's actually got a grub screw on it and this one for some reason hasn't. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically this is uh, so how it all works. And this will be mounted somewhere around here. Um, but I've got to work out uh, a cam arrangement for. Uh, I've got to mount the, the solenoid requires a switch, breaker switch, or contacts, and that will be operated by a cam, which will be on this end of the crankshaft. Um, and I've got to work that arrangement out. It's not quite uh, I'm quite got there yet, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. Well, <clears throat> we've now made the uh, solenoid mounting block, which is in place, and um, as you can see. Just turn it around a bit. You can see more of the action here. Basically, that all seems to work nicely. Now this is going to be my attempt here at uh, the cam to operate the switch the contacts that turn the solenoid on and off. So um, that will be the uh, that's the next job to do. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. Be interested to see what it's like when it's actually uh, running. Um, the motor mount is made. Uh, there's a copper pipe that uh, uh, is sleeving the solenoid. This allows me to move the solenoid backwards and forwards, and I can adjust the position, so I can effectively adjust the timing, the stroke, as it were. But uh, yeah, that's not looking too shabby at the moment. Uh, that's it for now. Okay, last one for today. Um, got the uh, bracket for the uh, breaker made, and we've done some work on the cam, but it needs a lot of refinement. That's it's just that's way too big the cam at the moment. That needs to be made a lot smaller. But uh, anyway, you can see the principle of the thing. Um, so that's a. Uh, job for another day I think uh, that's, that's, uh, that's all for now but hopefully uh, next time it might actually be running keep watching okay well here is pretty much the uh, final final item um, unfortunately the uh, uh, mammoth flywheel 
way way too light wasn't really enough for it so I've had to steal uh, two flywheels I made for um, my uh, recent uh, renovation of the uh, uh, Care East that's probably at the back there so you can see it uh, Care East loco uh, stationary steam engine I should say and um, they work very well indeed so I'm gonna have to make some uh, uh, preferably one that it looks massively ungainly with the uh, the two two flywheels there but uh, I'm sure I can manufacture a flywheel for it um, there is now a bracket here which uh, holds the uh, solenoid in place it's slotted at the top so I can adjust the uh, the distance of the the solenoid in the mounting block uh, which allows me to adjust the stroke effectively um, so I guess the question is Let's see it running. Does it run? Well, yes, it does. Um, the flywheels are um, not running true at the moment because they are designed to fit onto a slightly larger shaft. The flywheel sh the crankshaft on the Carry engine is uh, considerably larger, so that they are definitely wobbly. But um, it's okay; it runs. We can whack the voltage off of it. One little solenoid engine, basically out of scrap bits. And currently borrowed bits as well. Yeah, thanks for watching.